Be a part of the best pro wrestling podcast today by supporting the Going In Raw Patreon. You can enjoy access to the live taping of the show, exclusive merchandise, and patron-only episodes, and so much more. Support Going In Raw today. Click the link in the description. Real quick, give me a too sweet. Come on, give me a too sweet. No. <laughs> Not going to happen. Can you see my video right now? No. Okay, all right. I'm putting up a too sweet. Right no, now. I can imagine that you're... You get... <laughs> Two fingers and a thumb coming up right like this. Yes. Oh, yeah. We do sweeted. We do nope. sweeted. No, my fingers did not touch the lens. Oh, what about? Oh, damn it. I missed it. Okay. Hey, friendo. Steve here. And Larson. And welcome to Going In Raw Breaking News Edition. Uh, there's going to be a brand split, Larson. Yeah. <laughs> and the way that I said it. That was about as exciting as the actual announcement. <laughs> so it was just sort of on WWE.com, there is an announcement made in text. <laughs> well, I got I got a, a, a notification from the WWE app. Oh, okay. App this morning, and I look at my iPad, and there it is, breaking news. Uh, Shane and Stephanie made a video, very, seemingly very impromptu video as well, of them talking about... I mean, they, they just decided to do it this morning. I know, really. It's like, it's just very, just on the spot. They woke up, yeah, having some coffee. We should do this live on Tuesdays. Um, so there's a lot of questions that haven't been answered because obviously this announcement just hit. Um, in terms of like, are we going to see like tag teams? Like, are there going to be two tag team divisions? Are, there, are they going to like, are there going to be two world champions? I, I'm i hugely not into that idea. No, I really... One world champion. I agree. I think there should be one world champion. I think there should be the Intercontinental Championship on one, uh, the Intercontinental, Intercontinental Division on one, the U.S. Championship Division on another. Here's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Uh, Cena's coming back on Memorial Day, right? Uh, yes, correct. They're going to build up uh, a feud with him and Rusev, and Cena's going to reclaim the U.S. title, and that's going to be the primary belt, belt on SmackDown. Yeah, and the IC belt on the other one. I agree with yeah. that. Um, with the world champ. Performing on both shows. It, have we? Have they confirmed if the cruiserweight championship thing is going to be? Uh, is that going to? Is that going to hold a title and it, like be an actual division? I don't believe so. I think it's just a, a one-time tournament. Okay. Unless it's successful, then they'll probably do it more often. Because I, I suppose I could see. I, I would prefer them just do the tag team division on one side. And, you know, like, let's say the tag team division, the IC title on one side, and then maybe the women's division and the U.S. title on the other side. Am I missing anything? And then, of course, the world championship to be both shows. No, I think um, that's everything. But, I mean, that that would be kind of weird. To have. I mean, I think the only thing about the world champion on both shows is that who is he feuding with? Yeah, because they said in the announcement there would be distinct rosters and unique storylines or something like that. The verbiage itself might be incorrect, but that was the gist. And I uh, apparently uh, Meltzer said in his audio update today that everybody in the company is saying that it's going to be two world titles. Um, I'm sorry, two world titles. Um, and that's the, but until it's official, that's, that's not going to be real. But um, so it sounds like that's, that's the road they're headed towards, which I'm not a fan of. I mean, there should no. be one dominant alpha, um, maybe rename that title like the Magnum TA title because that's really what it should be like in just his face or a picture of him like in the side plates he's like a pictures of him banging various 80s chicks the only way that the two separate titles may work is if but it, there's no storyline build up to it yet is to have a really kind of acrimonious split mm -hmm. between Shane and Steph mm -hmm. where literally one of them says alright I'm gonna buy or in Steph's case, my portion of the company, we're going to like leave and start our own thing, which happens to be an already existing thing, which is SmackDown. Right. right. But kind of treat it as if, okay, this isn't, this is two, com one company splitting in two hats. Yeah, I know. I, it, but given their like cheesy video announcement this morning, I, it sounds like that's so not going to be the case. Like it, it's, it's, it's a, it's weird and it's a bummer that this wasn't at least, there was no attempt at making this storyline based. It was just we're doing this now, and but there was no like storyline prompt for this. Yeah, um, I mean, and even their even their reasoning of um, you know we've got uh, we've got a huge amount of people on our roster. It's like you also are coming off a, a huge amount of injuries, and shouldn't you learn a bit from that? <laughs> you yeah, know? it's like yeah, no. what happens when there are more injuries? 
Um, and then you have you have like just you know a really weak field on both sides. Or I mean, I don't know. I I guess I guess like you know what? I mean, it's fine if they're gonna have two world champions. I think it's kind of I don't know. I'm not huge on that, but I'm I guess it's all right. I just don't want them to do the draft kind of thing where they like split up tag teams. Like I really really want yeah. the tag teams on one side. And then maybe like the women's division on the other side. You know what they could do is um, have the world title and the women's title def- defended on both shows, even mm-hmm. though they said they're not going, allegedly they're not going to do that. But whatever. Yeah. And then have the IC and tag titles say on Raw, and then mm-hmm. the US, and have and start a women's tag division. Oh, that'd be cool. Have that I like that idea Smackdown. a lot. Yeah, I doubt that would happen, but I would love that. I think it'd be really really cool. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of there's a so lot. I guess of there would be a problem here. with with dividing the women's division like that because there's pr- probably not the depth to not at this point. That. Yeah, unless they like brought up everybody from NXT. Yeah, then there's really not the depth for that. But um, but I mean, you know, if if they really are looking for like a mass call up from NXT and you and and revert that basically to like sort of a more of a developmental thing as opposed to like you know building that into its own brand but I from what I understand like they want that to be its own traveling brand as well so yeah <laughs> I don't know there's a lot of questions here um but and there's all sorts of different ways they can go I like to think this has been thought out quite a bit before this actually happened but it's the WWE you never know yeah <laughs> it might well, have been might have been the kind of thing where like 2 weeks ago USA said hey you know uh, we could get we we can all have a lot more revenue if we do this live Every Tuesday, and Vince is like, "Oh, okay, we'll do that then. We'll, We've got we'll set a plan in motion." Cena and Orton are coming back from injuries. <laughs> that's but one on one show, one on the other show. That's that's all we need to do. It's great. Maybe we can have Cena on one show and Roman Reigns on the other show, and everybody will be happy. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the only that it, it would be. It's going to be interesting to see how they break these up if they if they go for like more of a smart Mark show and then more of a Mark show. Mm-hmm. Um. That would be kind of interesting, but I don't know. Like it kind of it kind of bums me out that if they do have two world titles, world titles, because I like the fact that all these guys are clawing their way trying to get to the top, and now there's two tops. And we saw kind of what happened before. Like it was always a situation where either the Raw title title was like more important than the SmackDown one, or vice versa. Like there was yeah. that period of time when the SmackDown belt was like more important. Um, and you, there's never like sort of like who you know. The, I, I want one main world champion. How about this? Mm-hmm. They, uh, each show has their own world championship, and then there's a WWE Universal Champion. Oh, I like that's good. The like Universal Champion. Yeah. yeah. And it's like it's like the it's like a belt, but it's like just space on it. Yeah. No, that's the H belt. It'll just be the H belt. There you go. Even better. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, that's the news. That's uh, the brand split. I mean, there's just there's so many questions to be had here. We don't know the answers to, but yeah. we figure everybody's tweeting us saying, "What do you guys think about this? What do you think about this?" It's kind of big news, so we figured we'd uh, we brand split, and now this the screens are split here. Yeah. With us. So uh, yeah, that was exciting. Exciting times yeah. we're living in, Larson. Well, let's let's think about something real fast. Okay. So let's say I think Cena to SmackDown seems legitimate because they need star power on that show. Yes, especially if he has a U.S. title. And if the, the U.S. title is going to be the primary belt in SmackDown, the Intercontinental belt will be the primary belt on Raw. This is all how we want it, not how they're yeah, probably yeah, going to sure, do it. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Who would be a suitable Intercontinental champion to carry the primary belt for Raw? Because I think we both agree the Miz is not that guy. I mean, I think at that point, you, let's if if Raw is if if they designate Raw, maybe something more for the smart marks, like uh, make it Sami Zayn. I mean, I think he's you yeah, know if, if Zayn or Ambrose. If you keep yeah, if you keep one, if you keep one, sort of your more, I don't say merchandise friendly, but I don't know, like you know, seen on one, Sami Zayn is a good counter to that. He's young, he's new, he's fresh. He's got the crowd, you know, wrapped up in his hand. And then you got Cena, who appeals to all the kids and the Make-A-Wish people. Like, and, you know, he's the number one merch seller. I that, I think that's a good, you know, and you're building up Sami Zayn to be on that level to sell that kind of merch. Yeah. I think that's a good, that's a good counter right there. I mean, he would be my first, he'd be my first choice. I yeah. really think that five years now, he's going to be the face of the company. I mean, if he stays healthy and all things being equal, um, I mean, it's just, I think he's got all the tools for that. He certainly has the charisma, the talent, yeah. all that kind of shit. So, yeah. um, 
Yeah, I don't know. It'll be it'll be definitely interesting. I mean, we can maybe on uh, next week's podcast we can uh, we can do a, a a draft, a mock draft, a mock draft for everybody in WWE, <laughs> yeah, and including some. Hey, we should include like NXT gets to participate in this draft as well. Yeah, there'd be some call ups, <laughs> some call ups, some call downs. Like it won't even be it'll just be NXT as their own thing. I don't know. What do you think? Let me answer. What do you think about the Tuesday? I mean, I know logistically that's probably why they're doing it because logistically Tuesday makes yeah, sense. They already, for them. Yeah, they already shoot SmackDown on Tuesday. So, yeah. What do you think about in terms of like Monday Night Raw and then we've got Tuesday Night and SmackDown? Then, and then Wednesday NXT. And then Wednesday NXT, which, oh, by the way, I think No, no Way Jose is, uh, is fighting tonight. Um, but I, I'm not huge on that. I mean, I, I don't know until it's here, really. But I like, I like Thursdays. As the SmackDown day, I yeah, like some I'm, space. I'm, I'm wondering why they maybe the Friday time slot is just not that great. You probably at least so, at least yeah. doing a Friday live SmackDown would fit into their touring schedule because I think yeah. usually it's it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's the five days they work. Yeah, and Wednesday and Thursday they they get off. Yeah, and they're back on the road. You know, next Friday. So. Yeah, I don't I, know. I, I don't know. Maybe those weekend house shows would just make so much money they don't want to get rid of them i don't know that could be that could be i don't know i mean it's just i mean two separate things i don't know maybe they figure wrestling fans are wrestling fans you know if they really want to do a brand split and make it competitive Mm -hmm. they should both air on the same time monday nights bring back the monday night wars exactly yeah and split split the writing staff like straight up you guys need to start competing with each other well that's what it sounded like they're that was the goal I hope so. I mean, you know, if you look at SmackDown back in 2001 or whenever Heyman was yeah, writing Yeah, when Heyman it, was writing it, yeah. It was better than Raw. And yep. the ratings were starting to prove that out. And then he's yep. just, you know, it's Heyman. He's a controversial figure, so he's not going to get along with people very. Like, his his take, you, well, you saw the Heyman podcast, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. It, his was just like, there was that one plane ride where him and Vince just went at it. And by the end of the, when they hit ground, he was fired, basically. There was another time. Maybe it, it, I'm sure he was fired a couple times. Um in the uh, Paul Heyman documentary, he, I believe that was it, or was it the one the podcast where they were talking about? I mean, this is the same incident where, uh, like, there was uh, writer meetings, and Heyman would call into them. Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah. The Raw and SmackDown ones were back to back, and I think either Heyman accidentally called into the Raw one. Or he just did that regularly. <laughs> I don't yeah. remember the details. It was. I think. I think they said. I think the rumor was that he did that regularly, but his take was he accidentally he accidentally did it once. But if he had the opportunity, but he said if he had the opportunity to do it every week, he absolutely would have. Yeah. Like his take was, I'm not above doing that, but when I did do it, it was accidental. Yeah, and then he ended up getting fired or something. Yeah. So yeah, one of the many times he was fired. Um, so I don't know. It'll be interesting. Hopefully, uh, what's his face can, uh, stop hitting on NXT women's division up and comers long enough to, <laughs> to write a successful live show. Allegedly, according to Cody Rhodes. Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> Apparently Cody's got nuclear heat for that comment. Yeah. Ooh. I saw that too. Can't be doing that. Cody can't be doing that. Anyways. Uh, anyways, that's it for going right. Do you have anything to add? I thought I did, but no, I guess not. <laughs> All right. Well, just text me if you do, and uh, you know we'll, we'll we'll and we'll somehow work it into the show. <laughs> exactly. All right. I'll talk to you guys later, and thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Goodbye. I don't know how to end this with. I know. We're having our, we're kind of having our own split here because we're on split screen. So I know. It's a metaphor. Mm-hmm.